How could he ever consider himself a coward? The final game is about to begin. You're such a bitch! He wasn't done! <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to Remember Remember. So today we're going to take a look at Peter and his route and what he has to say about Sarah's kidnapping. So far we only got two endings, the good ending and uh, the cruel ending. So before we get started, if you guys would like to check out the game yourself, there is a link in the description where you can get it. And if you'd like to support the creators, Michaela Laws and Ethan Nakashima, I have links to their stuff as well. And if you'd like to see the Let's Play on uh, my playthrough of the good ending or Rosa's route, uh, I have uh, videos to those links as well. So today we're gonna take a look at Peter and see what he has to say. This room looks like my- Oh my god, Peter? Peter! Uh, uh, huh? Peter, thank god. Are you okay? Uh, hey, Chris. Ow. My head. Oh shit, are you alright? It's all good. Nothing I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's still trying to make jokes. <laughs> Jeez, we just get the shit out of me, Pete. Yeah, let me help you up. Thanks. Ugh. Where are we? I don't know, but I think we're in some kind of bunker. A bunker? Yeah, the room outside this one is massive and made of stuff you build medical bunkers with. What kind of? Ugh. This makes no sense. Why were we brought here? Beats me. Well, at least the bed was comfy. Oh my God, Pete, no. <laughs> Really, Peter? Can't blame me for trying to look on the bright side of things. Oh my god. I hope the others are okay. Oh my god, and that would make so much sense too. Oh, okay, I'm gonna talk about it later though, but hang on. Still, none of this makes any sense. How- It has to have been that guy who offered to drive- Still, none of this makes any sense. How did we all get here? It has to have been that guy who offered to drive us. I freaking knew it! Ugh! Did you find the others? No, I just woke up. You were the first person I found. Well then, let's go find the other. All right, where are you, Pete? Oh, Pete's over here. Jeez, those are a lot of screens. Why are all of these screens here? It's a stadium projector. I huh? know. How do you know? It's too big to be a bunch of screens thrown together. Even if you put something different on each of them, it'd be too confusing to view altogether. This was built to project something huge into the room. His huge ass uh, mask face. <laughs> but what could that be? I don't know. I don't think it'll be any sports though. That's for sure. Ugh. I'm trying to remember the guy who offered us that ride. He looked around our age. How could he have gotten us all at once? He looked around their age? Huh, that's interesting. Also the fact, like, in the beginning, I don't know why they agreed to go off with a stranger to their graduation. Honestly, I would have just called the taxi or fucking walked at this point. <laughs> Think about it, it is really strange. Even if he used the car to knock us all out, he'd be affected too. He'd be affected, too. Then again, I can barely remember what happened. Damn it. I don't know. Probably when we all got in that car. Well, yeah, but... Ugh! I wish I could just freaking remember! Chilla, it's gonna be alright, none of us can remember- Okay, you know what, I'll, don't stress yourself! Is it though? I want to be positive, but- We'll find a way out of here, Pete. We have to. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Alright, let's talk to Peter again. Peter might have some insight what, what we should do now. I don't know why, but I feel really close to him. Where's he at though? Peter? Huh, why is he looking at the TV? Peter? What's going on? Huh? Oh, hey, Chris. I was just thinking. About what? The game and stuff. You know, the thing you had to go through. That was pretty scary, not gonna lie. You're telling me. I was scared shitless about it, and I'm even more scared shitless for whatever the next game is. I can only hope I pass it like it did the first one. Still, I gotta say, you handled it pretty well. Haha, <laughs> I really didn't! <laughs> really? Yeah, there's no way I would have been able to do that. You and me, Peter. Sure you could have. Nah, I'd be too stressed to know what I'm doing. You handled it like a pro. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. No problem. Something about Peter makes me feel really comfortable with him. I don't know why. Maybe I'll find out and remember during the course of whatever this is. Whatever the case may be, we'll remember everything and get it out somehow. Hey, um... What is it? Uh, what? We're gonna get out of here soon, right? Well, yeah. Huh? Is Peter that worried? You worried? I mean, a little. Understandably so. I think all of us are worried in some shape, however. I don't think I've ever seen Peter this nervous. Why is he so nervous? Everything alright? Huh? 
Yeah, I'm oh, fine. No. Just natural. I wonder order, if you know? he he remembers yeah, some big. of the kidnapping that he was involved at this point in time. Right. Yeah, something's up. Does he remember something that he's not telling me? Well, I'm gonna head to my room. Got to rest up and all, you know. Sure. See you, Chris. Okay, bye. It's why you, that was totally If you're trying to act cool, that was really you're acting really suspicious there. Yeah, something's up. But just what the heck could it be? I'm gonna see what happens if we force the memories out. I'm just kind of curious about this. We can't wait. We need to get out of here faster, and if we can force the memories to reappear, then we have our way out. We force the memories out. The quicker they come, the better. All right, if you say so. And here we go again. So, how do we do this? Word association. So we just say words oh. and stuff that. Okay, makes so we're gonna memory. try it with everybody. Unless anyone wants to try something else, I can't think of anything else that would work. That should be enough. So, who wants to lead? How about you, Chris? You are kind of the leader at this point, so it's only fair if you lead this. Besides, you'd be in control of what we remember, so you can focus everything on finding that truth. The tr that's true. I guess it's for the best. Well then, whenever you're ready. Girl, school, friend. Huh. Hmm. I think all that'll do will make us remember what majors we had and Well, maybe- Lisa's right. Graphic design. Political science. Art. Nursing. <laughs> so, you'll be getting your degree in criminal justice, huh? Lisa's it's better than political science. Yeah, Ooh. I'm pretty excited for it. He took political science, okay. It's a good major to be in. Cheers, Chris. Yeah, Lisa and I will be stuck as penniless artists. You might. <laughs> Cheers. Criminal justice. Huh? You were in CJ? Yeah. Did you not remember that? No. All I remember is seeing Chris outside of classes. Huh. Well, graphic design doesn't really align with criminal justice, so that makes sense. That's true. I don't think we're getting anywhere here. Yeah. Hmm. Great. Oh. Am I interrupting something important? Shut up. And he's here. Shit, that means another game's about to start. Fucking hell. This asshole and his timing. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> For another f Oh, come now. Why on earth would we- Rosa, I'm surprised at you. Have you not done any study of psychology in your medical courses? The science of sadomasochism and how it burrows into the human brain, waiting to be released upon stimulation. This guy's so creepy. We're not masochistic. You're just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, more fun for me then. Ugh. There's nothing fun about this. Absolutely nothing. It's helped us remember a little bit so far. Since we don't know how much time we'll truly be staying here. It's something. Are they doing the word association thing again? Peter, can you get us all some water? Way ahead of you. I just wish we had painkillers or something to help with the headaches. Oh, right, because I, I chose to force out the memories, right? We don't know what the kidnapper used in the beta blocker. So painkillers would not be a good idea regard- Fair enough. So... We ready to begin? What can I say though? I had some ideas last time we tried, but any of them would work now? What if I tried personal words to use? Would that narrow down some memories? Ooh, Sarah masked butterfly. Oh, okay, I wanna save. Masks. What? Why that word? Hmm. It's a fair word, but I got nothing. Peter? I'm trying to think. Hold on. Okay. Nothing here. Same. Nope. Nothing for me either. Really? That was a long shot, but none of them seem to be getting headaches over it. But Chris, why mask? I don't know. It just popped into my head. Maybe to see if any one of us is related to it? Maybe. It was kind of obvious. Well, if any of us were related to it, then we would have remembered something. Or they already remembered. Hmm. What is it, Lisa? For some reason, something's bugging me about the kidnapper. What? What do you mean? Like, you know something about him? No... But more like a feeling. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Huh. Maybe that drug is stronger than we thought. We can't seem to remember jack crap. It's worth a shot. But the more we do it, the farther from the mark we seem to be getting. If we could boil it down to that one moment when Sarah was taken. Well, what about the date? Do you remember when she was taken, Chris? Do I? It was the, it was the day I could never forget. All I can recall is that it was in spring. Chris? Huh? What? Sarah? Huh? Chris, what's wrong? Huh? It's... 
Uh, nothing. I'm hearing her for no reason now. It's like she's here, but inside I know she's not. Something is telling me that she's- Are you alright? You're pale. Here, drink some water. Snap out of it. It's this place. It's driving me nuts. We have to find a way out before I completely lose it. Yeah. Water. Chris? Huh? Rosa, what's wrong? Um, I wanted to ask you something. It's been on my mind since yesterday's forced memory session. What is it? What is it? Which, uh, which room is yours? Why is she asking me this? What? That's weird. It's the closest one to the exit, across from Peter's. Hmm. Then, if we count rooms, going from the kitchen, we have Lisa, Xavier, Peter, you, then me. Uh-huh. What? What are you talking about? Chris, there's an extra room. It's next to mine. Across from Lisa's. Oh! Huh? The sixth door? How did we not notice that? Right. Are you thinking... Is that the kidnapper's room? Hold on. Let's not jump to conclusions. But if you're on the same wavelength as me, what if... That is where the kidnapper is hiding. What about the kidnapper? Xavier, Lisa, we... Hold on! What? Whoa, Rosa's running off to the door. Bad idea. No, what Rosa, are you doing? What? Open up! Hello! Rosa, what are you doing? Guys, that's a sixth door. So? There are five of us. Oh, shit. Are you serious? What the fuck? I know you're in there! Step away from the door, Rosa. Whoa. Yeah, Rosa, get back! Huh? Oh, shit. Rosa! Oh, my God! Rosa! What's going on out? Rosa! Please be okay, please be okay. Rosa, answer me. Open your eyes. Uh, he's in there. It took a while for you to realize that. Wow, how did they not know that there were, there were six rooms? Wait, the kidnapper's in there? Apparently, under our frickin' noses this entire time. Get out here and face us! I'm afraid you seem to be forgetting who's in charge. Interesting. <laughs> I wanna think that the kidnapper would be in the same room. Maybe he'd be like on a top level or something. That's weird. <laughs> Holy shit, back up! <clears throat> Rosa. Are you? Uh, I... I'm... F fine. Shit. All along, the kidnapper has been in the same bunker as us. And we never gave it a thought because of the stupid game. Just because you found my little corner of the bunker does not mean that you will escape the final game. Why hide now? Why not face us like a real human being? And let the five of you overpower me. Not likely. Besides, at my age, I don't have much strength left. It's much easier to maintain control in here. Damn it, we can't force him out because he'll electrocute us. Here, Rosa. Let me help you up. Thanks. My, my legs. Hey, hey. Deep breaths. What the fuck? Okay. Rosa. Huh, hey, Peter. The kidnapper. He's hiding in plain sight. Just, what the hell are you? What, what did he say? A black shadow scientist? Is that what he said in his journal entry? You wish to know. Whoa, yes? This guy's insane! Tra trapping us here, lying beneath our noses, and monitoring us just a door away. I can't help but loathe his very existence. <laughs> <laughs> you are just too interesting, Chris! I was let down by the failed experiment, but you... Oh, you... You are so full of surprises! Just answer! <laughs> Despite the fact that you have no way of forcing me to comply to your demands, I'll at least tell you what I am. I am a scientist, a practitioner of the scientific method, and a researcher of the curious forces behind the human mind. What others fear to know, I thrive to learn. Interesting. What makes a human truly feel pain? What makes them writhe at the sight of their own internal organs? Why does the brain shut down at the sight of excessive gore and blood? These are all questions I wanted to know. God, that's disgusting! But is it not a natural curiosity? Humans bluntly assume that they will never experience that amount of trauma in their lives and pray to a deity that their thoughts remain true. However... The simple thought and chance of it happening to anyone remains a constant. That's some fucked up logic. Who even- who would even try to think of things like that? 
Obviously he would. You five just so happen to be in the nest of my past. Where you stand is where I used to have multiple machines and tools to dismantle and study human subjects. But, for my own curiosity. But this guy from his journal, when we saw in Rosa's uh, route, when I was looking through the journals, he, he kidnapped a bunch of people, or I assumed that he did. Oh my god, this place was made for human experimentation? Ah, it was a fun life. It had its challenges, of course, such as obtaining my subjects. You've met one of my colleagues, one of many contacts I used to call upon to bring me lucky candidates for Oh, research. it's the guy who kidnapped them, the guy with the van. The, the guy who gave us that ride. I'm gonna be sick. Of course, as I got older, I grew tired of my curiosity and closed up my lab, cleaning everything and leaving this place to rot in the past. That's when I met Sarah. What? You met Sarah? That is all I shall say for now. But he said he bought her, remember? So, huh. Oh, hell no, you can't just do that. How did you meet her? What did you do to her? Don't ignore me! Peter, you may wish to eat something right now. It seems that everyone else is eager to start the final game. Wait, I didn't even get the chance to talk to Peter again. What the hell? Okay, so clearly this is a different recording day, but I decided to go back and change my answer from forcing the memories out to wait it out so we can see more of Peter's scenes because I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I haven't seen them. So let's take a look. Peter seems to be a good candidate to talk to. He's pretty supportive thus far. Besides, I'm sure I have memories to unlock with him. There he is, but why is he hanging around the podium? Peter? Huh? Oh. Hey, Chris. What's up? What are you looking at? Oh, well, I was looking at the podium and stuff. Yeah? Had a lot on my mind, you know? Like what? Well, the game and our involvement in it. Like, we can't do anything to help you. We're just stuck in those tubes. He's right. It must be hard on everyone not be able to do anything. It's even worse to know that they're all forced to, to depend on me to survive the game. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But hey, you can knock out those games easily. Aww. So I'm not worried. Is that really the case? Uh, really? Yeah, I mean... What is it? I feel like, deep in my gut, I've always had some faith in you, you That's know? good. Like, some sort of really strong bond. Huh. That's something I somehow expected to hear from Peter. Wait, did I...? Ooh. Hey, Chris. Here we go. Hmm? Oh, hey, Pete. What are you doing here? <laughs> I needed a drink myself. Class has been pretty shitty. Mind if I join you? Not at all. First drink's on me. Is Chris drunk? No. No, I got us both. You need to save the money to pay your water bill, remember? I know, I know. Shit, what am I doing? Hey, don't Aww. stress about it. I got faith you'll figure it all out. You always manage to find a way to make things work. A visit to the bar isn't gonna break you. How are you always so optimistic? I'm not Rosa. I'm not optimistic. Chris. I just believe in you. And he likes you, okay. <laughs> uh, my... Whoa, are you okay? Uh, my head. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, just remembered something. Don't worry about it. You sure? All right. That sounds like- <laughs> Want me to get you water? It sounds so weird because you're just like, don't worry about it. And then you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, you're not gonna tell me like what happened? How is Peter just letting me off the hook so easily? Does he trust me that much? Exactly! Like, I, I know what happens, but like, I didn't expect Peter to be like, what did you remember or something like that? Because when we were remembering stuff with Rosa, Rosa would always ask, like, what happened? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Anytime. Peter's a little strange, but I think I can understand him a little bit. Maybe over time, I'll remember more. Still, to think we're all stuck in here. I feel like I should be more pissed off than I am, but somehow. Oh man, because he's guilty! <laughs> Peter. Huh? What does that mean? Does Peter know something? Or maybe it's just a gut feeling? Could he be feeling the same doubt I am? Gah. This place is really messing with me. Let's comfort him. I can't let Peter let this place get to him. It's already bad enough that it's getting to me. I don't need to affect him too. Besides, he might not get his memories back. Or he might not tell something I need to know. Hey. Huh? It'll be alright, okay? We can't let that psychopath kidnapper get to us or else he'll win. It's all on us. 
I won't let the kidnapper have his final say. I'll be the one to stop this insanity somehow. I just hope that I can keep myself together. And that first means that I have to help keep Peter and everyone else safe and sound. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There we go. We can't let the kidnapper win. All of us will get through this. I know it. Pete. And you'll be a hero, Chris. Will I? Can anyone here truly say that I'll be a hero? Then I obviously have to react somehow to it. What if the kidnapper makes me kill them all anyway? What if... No. I can't do this right now. I need to talk to Peter. He's been constantly supportive to me this entire experience. Plus, he may have someone unlock some more memories. I'll be- it'll be a win-win situation. He'll probably- he's probably making his food right now, so it'll be a relaxed conversation. Huh? Oh. Hey, oh, Chris. I think I've seen this scene already in- in my main playthrough, so I think I already did this part. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I already saw this place. So he- he's just basically saying that he remembered he has, like, uh, younger siblings, and then he would always be taking care of them and stuff like that. And then he remembered saying the only drama he remembered was when Rosa- uh, confess to Chris, but Chris walked away. That's what he says here. Okay, let's just say I'm not into girls. I like guys. B wait, huh? What's the with the look? Deep down, I guess I wasn't interested in girls at all. I don't think I've ever been. I don't want to hurt her that way, you know. I mean, if you asked me, it'd be a different story. Peter's completely right in the face. Did I hit a nerve or something? Oh, that's wrong. H huh? N nothing. Nothing, man. <laughs> Bro. Bud? Oh my god! <laughs> mm hmm. I think I can tell what's up. <laughs> what the hell, Peter? Let's talk to Peter. So, this is after he and Xavier got in a fight where he just completely snapped. And now we understand why he was so determined to tell Chris, like, everything. We, we should be honest. We shouldn't, like, uh, gang up on the mask guy or whatever. Because he feels guilty because he's a part of this. And. I know how he got involved with this, thanks to all those fucking people who spoiled it in my comment section. Thanks, by the way, and fuck you. So, I know what happens to Peter and how he got involved in this. I should check on Peter. He's hiding in his room. I can't leave him alone. Especially not before the final game. Peter? No response. Peter! Go away! Whoa. He sounds really upset. Is he beating himself up? Well, he kind of did kick Xavier's ass yesterday. Still, he went completely off the deep end. Is he okay? No, no, we're gonna talk to him. Peter, come on. I just want to talk. I can't, all right? I can't talk right now. Pete. Come on, Pete. I'm worried sick about you. Jesus, this is hard. What do I say in a situation like this? Whoa. I remember being in a situation like this, but in a different position. Chris. Jeez. Uh, uh, you fell asleep here again? Oh, God. You're lucky Rose asked me to find you or the bartender would have kicked you out. Just hurry up and get him out of here. All right. All right. Sheesh. Hey, come on. Let's get you home. I can't drive. I'm driving. Let's go. Man, you reek of booze. You know that? How much did you drink? That is none of your business. Oh, my God. Chris, come on. I want to talk about it, all right? I was mourning over my sister's disappearance again. It was the anniversary of her disappearance, yet I was the only one who seemed to remember. I was so distraught that I decided to ditch the classes and drink all day. I'm pretty sure that I got into a couple of verbal fights with the bartender, but I needed to be away from school, from my friends. No, you can always talk to us, okay? We may be busy all the time, but Rosa, Lisa, Xavier, and I are still your friends, you know? We'll always be there for you. No matter what. I, I'm just- I'm just wondering how long they were able to keep this secret, like, they were involved in the disappearance. Especially with Peter, because he seems the one to be the, you know, most sympathetic. Because Rosa is not involved with it, so I'm not including her in that. It's just out of the three of them, Peter seems the most sympathetic about the situation. At least from what I'm seeing so far. I don't know about when we see Xavier and Lisa later. To keep the secret that long that they were part of it. I don't know. I was mourning. Huh? Mourning? Sarah. Yeah. Remember her? How could I not? For some reason, venting my anger seemed good at the moment, but the look in your eyes, even through my drunken stupor, caused me to rethink my words. I'm sorry. No, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I... <sighs> the entire car road was silent afterwards. Even he practically carried me up the stairs to my apartment. We couldn't say anything. Thanks, Pete. Chris, 
Hmm? I... I want to tell you something. What? I... What? For some reason, you were holding back something. I expected that you were holding back a lecture or something. Instead, you just stood there and stared at me with a hopeless eyes. I'm sorry, Chris. I really am Oh my sorry. god, he's gonna tell him there! Huh? If there's anything I can do, anything at all, just name it. You shouldn't be going through this. This isn't fair to you. Pete. I mean it. At that moment, I felt some sort of relief. I don't know why, but at your words were so genuine that I almost felt happy that day. Oh my god, he was gonna confess and say like I was a part of her kidnapping, but he couldn't do it. You were able to help me in the darkest times. I have to help you. Screw this place. Screw this game. You're my friend, Peter. Peter, I know you can hear me. I'm here for you. How about that? I've always been here, no matter what. Just like how you're there for me every time I've done something stupid. Chris. There we are. Come on, Pete. I will stand here until the final game if I have to. I want to help you like you've helped me. Aww. Like how you were there for me in high school, in college. Oh my and god, Chris is such a good friend, dude! I'd- Whoa! I'd marry you if I could! Whoa! You could say that? Michaela, you put that option there? Okay, I'm clicking that. I mean it. You have no freaking clue how much you mean to me, Peter. I like you so much. I feel so stupid for realizing now, but I do. When we're out of here, there's so much I want to do with you. This... Oh, this I'm is sorry. so sad! I'm so, so sorry. Pete? Chris, I'm a coward. I'm such a stupid, useless coward. I... How? How is he a coward? He stood up to Xavier. He's trying to support all of us. How could he ever consider himself a coward? The final game is about to begin. You're such a bitch! Uh, he wasn't done! <laughs> make your way. Would anyone like to confess their sins before their judge? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Will any of them speak? Will any of them tell the truth? Please tell me. I need to know. I do. Whoa, Peter! What? Peter? Huh? Peter, what did you do? It's all my fault. Oh my god, he's confessing! It's all my fault, C Chris. I'm so sorry. But I'm the one that let her get taken away. What? Huh? Yeah, I'm on my way home right now. Yeah, I got everything. Oh my god. I was driving home that night. My parents asked me to pick up some last minute groceries since I had the car. However... I had parked to answer the phone. I was always paranoid about driving and calling, even though I had a hands-free dog for my phone. Yes, Dad. I have the cat food. I made sure to get the... However, before I could finish my call, I saw a grown man with a little girl rushing towards a car, despite it being dark as hell. I recognized the little girl by her hair. Dad, I have to call you back. That can't be... There was no way that was her, I thought. Oh my God. She was practically jailed in her house. Yet there Sarah was, being led to a car by a stranger. I practically jumped out of my car, wanting to call her name as she got into his. But then, he pointed a gun at me. Who, the guy kidnapping her? I froze at the sight of it. I never had a gun legit pointed at me before in my life. So I was scared shitless. And so I had to watch him get in the car. What a bitch! Who is this guy? Like, it's not its not the masked man because he said he bought her, so it's just... Man, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna read the journal, but... As I felt... No, Peter! Helpless. I tried to call the police, but I couldn't remember the kidnapper's license plates, so they couldn't track it. Even from the cameras. Not even the killer's face. But what he wore. All I could remember was that gun. I couldn't sleep for weeks. I tried to search for her myself. I couldn't find her at all. Now we're here. And she's gone. And... Peter. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. No, it's not it's your fault. fault. Dude. This whole thing is my fault. I legit thought, like, Xavier got in a bad crowd and he just got Peter and, uh, Lisa to join in because he had to. 
Fucking Peter wasn't doing anything. This guy was just driving home. Peter. Chris, I can't ask for your forgiveness, okay? I can't ask for you to save me because of what I did. If I wasn't a... If I wasn't a coward... How are you a coward, dude? You got fucking... she would still be alive. Dude, the gun was pointed at your fucking face. What are you gonna do about that? Peter is completely broken. Judge me however you want. I'm a coward who couldn't even save a little girl. I deserve to die. No! P Pete! Shut up! Shut up. It's Chris's choice. After what I did, it's what I deserve. You've had your time to speak. What a bitch! Okay, I'm gonna- Okay, so- Okay, so I know there's like- We can obviously kill them and like let them go. I- I wanna know what happens if I kill Peter. As messed up as that is. So I'm gonna do like the two versions of it where I save Peter. And then I don't. Cause I'm gonna see if there's like a different version of it. And then I will- I will also try killing everybody else but saving Peter only. I wanna see if there's like any other ending. So- let me try to figure out how to get around this and we'll see. So I just said Peter only and killed everybody else because I want to see if there's like a different ending with this. I just killed- What? I'm alive? I can- Huh? Rosa, you were the only innocent one. But there is no way that you would have looked at me the same if I let you live after killing the others. Jesus Christ! My own one and only true friend. I'm sorry. Dude, that is messed up! I don't like that. Like, that's an option to kill Rosa. Nothing? No reaction to what I've done? Well, I guess it's only fair. I chose to abandon and save. Not so not uh, so not everyone lives. You've made your choices. As the final game has ended, you are free to go. I almost have expected him to keep us in here. At least he's saying true to his word. The doors open wide. For all we know, it could be another trap, another chance to kill us. I've got I've gone through hell and dragged my friends into the void. I wouldn't know how to react at this point. Whoa, goodbye, Ness. This is the killer butterfly will carry the weight of this place forever. Should I turn myself in? Should I erase myself from the world? Hell, I don't even know how my friends will stay around me after what I did. Will they look lock me away? Will will Peter actually lock you away because fucking you only saved him? Whatever it takes me, I will walk and bear my cross upon my shoulders until the day I finally die. My blood-soaked hands will burn in the depths of hell where I belong. Whoa, cruel and blood on your hands. Okay, so essentially it's the same ending, so no matter what I do, that I've already gotten. So, uh, I'm just gonna end it right there. So if you guys want to see the main playthrough of, um, remember, remember, I'll leave a link to, uh, where my playlist is. But anyway, that was really interesting. I thought Peter was involved for what Xavier and Lisa was, but he's completely separate. So he's completely, in my opinion, he's innocent. Because, like... He had a gun pointed to his face. Like, what is he supposed to do in that situation, you know what I mean? I don't blame him for being afraid to, like, e either call out or charge at the guy to get Lisa. I mean, get Lisa. Get Sarah. Because, um, what, kind, what, what can you do? A guy's pointing a gun at your face. What do you do in that situation? It, it's pretty normal that he was, he was scared. So, I, in my opinion, I don't blame Peter for not wanting to, um, move or do anything else to help Sarah. So I still think he's innocent in that case. It wasn't his fault. But I do appreciate the fact that he's still... Even in the end, and facing his death, he still confessed to Chris that I saw Sarah that day. And I didn't tell you about it. I figured maybe when we look into Xavier and Lisa's room and whatever, um, they'll say something. But it, I just find it interesting that Peter had a chance to confess to him while he was drunk in the past, but he didn't. That explains why he's so... I made a comment earlier by saying, like, oh, that explains why he's so, uh, you know, jokey and, like, the comic relief all the time. Because usually the people who are, like, the happiest and who makes the jokes a lot, like, are usually the saddest people. I should have known right away with Peter because he was the one who was making so many jokes and whatever. And I'm just like, it, it, it's usually the case that the funniest one is the saddest one and that explains why he makes a lot of jokes. It's the cope of, like, what happened. I don't know. I thought I thought it was really interesting. I, I really liked it. Unfortunately, there was no kiss for either Rosa or Peter's route because Michaela said she couldn't uh, afford to add the CGs in there. So, 
maybe next time in her next game, if you guys want to support Michaela, I'll leave a link to her Patreon, but, like, you definitely should help her support and buy her game so she can g give us, like, uh, kisses and CG kisses for romance stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we unlocked two more entry journal entries. So we did. I did divulge into the if we if we didn't block out the memories, we find out more about the masked man. So he was going on about the black shadow scientist thing. So let's read into his true journal entries, and then we'll see what happens. April eighteenth, two thousand and eleven. I was invited to attend an auction. The nerve of that host for assuming that I, one of the greatest minds of the black shadows would stoop so low as to purchase my test subjects. I have multiple methods for getting what I want. I have many friends who would snatch up small countries, for God's sakes, just for me to have bodies in my table. Ugh. I have never been so insulted in my life. The mere thought of wasting time for su at a, such an event, ugh, makes my stomach turn. Perhaps they were obsessed with the idea of having an elite in their midst. I could control the entire tri-state area. After all, no, one's, no one is safe from me, the, and the dim-witted authorities know this very well. I laugh each time I think of them practicing their little speeches. We are uncertain as of this time as to who the suspect is. Ho ho ho, it's adorable. To confess that, that they even thought of trying. With a reputation like that, one would think that I would be above such common affairs. Besides, who, would, who knows what the host did to the merchandise? They could be drugged up, already operated on in individuals, and I handed a second-rated specimen. Ugh. Ugh. I'm letting this get to me. How is it that I am such a lot that annoys to dig beneath my skin? Another mental adventure to, to dissect. Pride? Possibly. But not the only emotion link. Arrogance? Another possibility. There's more to be involved. No matter. I will not stoop so low as to attend. Mark my words. My immobile friend, I shall never step foot in a place of such common dealings. Oh, my newest patients have arrived. I must greet them properly. They will be my bridges to finding out this mental problem I am having. Ugh. So, Black Shadow signed is, I'm just assuming, he said in the, when he was, uh, when we were asked him about him, uh, he said that Black Shadow scientists are the people who, you know, figure out why people act the way they do on a more insane level, rather than, like, being a normal psychiatrist and stuff like that. So this guy is completely crazy because he's willing to di like, kidnap people, experiment on them, and figure out like what's happening. That's kind of mm. April. Tw All right, here's the fourth entry. April twentieth, two thousand fourteen. Three years ago, I swore that I would never attend an auction. A single promise is so, and I would never stoop so low. As you know, my friend, I closed the doors on my research a year ago. I grew tired, even bored, of finding the same process for different problems. Mortality dissect one, break the other, rip into both, lose both, lock them up, watch them fall apart and wither away. While the results I received are all different, the methods have become lackluster. Truly this is my doing, but I am a practitioner of mental study and experimentation. I know what will give results and that are often drives me to what I know best. Wash, rinse, and repeat. It's fl it is flawless in execution and practice, but not so in the satisfaction of uh, afterwards. I cleared out the bodies and equipment from the bunker. I found myself sitting in the study, bored and craving something new. One of my damnable colleagues showed up with an invitation to the auction and the bottle of scotch. I did not know what came over me. The fool must have drugged me. I found myself nodding and entering his car without realizing it. Huh. By the time we had reached the event hall, I could not turn back. I was surrounded by rats in tuxedos and gowns, all whom were pretending to hold some sort of higher power over one another. They did not know of the genius who was walking past them. This guy's really high on himself, huh? I am ashamed of myself for even attending. I am even more ashamed of what occurred during my attendance. The auction was nearing the end and it was the final product of the night. Was a child- Oh. Oh my god, this is how we are- Oh my god! This is how we got Sarah! No older than 12 or 13 female. Clearly used, a second-hand specimen, but still healthy, and ready to be sold for what host stated the first time- Oh my god. So basically this is like, um, sex trafficking and then like, slave, slave trafficking as well, and just selling people, right? The creature had probably been passed out and had- had some form of illness, but who would buy her knowing that? I knew how their little business operated. Just upon looking at her, she was certainly not healthy, yet somehow I found myself entranced. 
The pedophile like rats behind me shouted and hollered uh, bid upon bid, granting my nerves. Did I bid to silence them? Possibly. Did I bid because of her? Despite it being a highly doubtful hi hypothesis, I cannot deny its existence. Regardless, I found myself snatching my friends, bidding fan and raising it. Do you know how much that creature costs? 500,000... What? Half a million for a damn child. She is now sitting in the corner of the study, staring at me as if she's expecting for me to tear off her clothes and ravish her like her previous owners did. I'm half tempted to reopen my lab once more and dig into her internal cavity, but I will hold myself back for now. I will figure out what to do with her in the time. For now, I guess I'll just have to keep her fed. Oh my god. That's fucking disgusting and awful. So... He said he treated Sarah like his own daughter. That's what he said to Chris um, before the final game. And from the previous journals, I didn't go into it, but the people he was letting use his laboratory were like pedophiles, essentially. And then he started experimenting on the pedophiles because he, he was wondering why like they were like that. Like, what? Why did they want to? Why are they? Why are they pedophiles? Essentially, that's why he decided to experiment on them. And now in this version he got Sarah. Uh wow, I don't I don't know how to feel about this. Um anyway, I'm gonna end the episode right here. So when I come back, I'm gonna go into Xavier and Lisa's background to see like what happens and then maybe unlock more journals to see uh about the masked man. So I'm gonna pick another Steam Key winner. Alright, and today's winner of the Steam Key is Corinna, and here is your comment on the screen. So congratulations! Please message me on my channel. Let's go to the about section and click send message. So I have one final steam key left off for grab. So if you guys want to enter it, just follow the rules in the description. And I will pick on the next video. Let me know what you thought about Peter's route. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Remember, Remember, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You'll get ex Patreon exclusive videos, early access to videos, the Discord server to talk to me, and a bunch of other stuff. Or if you prefer, there is my art store as well if you want to purchase my artwork and anything else like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Why do you keep ignoring all my insults? Are you the dumbest thing ever- Are you the dumbest thing ever too? Cause you're worth it. What? This is too sweet. He's like shit. <laughs> you have bad taste. I don't even know how to start explaining how wrong you are. Who gets to put the pizza in?